Because excellence always demands a price. It should pretty much have to take all you got to become all you can become. Doesn't that just sound right as soon as you hear it? When I made it up, I was so proud of it, none of you even applauded. But it should exact a price. So be willing to pay the price of success. Don't waste your energy trying to figure out a cheaper route to excellence. Greatness is never on a blue light special. They don't hang a big sign out front, you know, the life of your dreams, cheap. It, it doesn't happen that way. If it doesn't, it won't, if it does, let's say you somehow get it in a way that you didn't earn it, which means you didn't grow through the struggle to be big enough to handle it, that, quote, success will ruin you. I read something the other day by Leo Tolstoy. It was beautiful. No wonder the guy was so famous beyond the fact that he could write books that were like 1,500 pages long. But he said, man cannot be both idle and at ease. Now that's pretty deep. Because what he means is we, we were built to be doing. And when we're not doing, we don't feel good. We don't feel fulfilled. We're a tool not being used the way it was designed. Yes, it's okay to take a vacation. Yes, it's okay to sleep in occasionally. Yes, it's okay to walk a beach or two. Yeah, for sure. But doing those things as your main thing, as your occupation will drive you insane. You were created for a purpose. You were built to do. You are a massively fine-tuned race engine, and you were made to get out on the track and push yourself to the limits. Now, you got to put good fuel in there. That's the tools and the system and the positive thinking and the association. You have to learn the principles. Those are the sides of the track to keep you on track and heading in a productive direction. But we were built to achieve. We were built to do something and to do something with a purpose because it's not enough to be busy either. We can't just be busy. We have to be busy about something that's, that's the right kind of something that glorifies God, that helps others, that lifts society, that contributes, that leaves a great example that we can be proud of. And so these are, these are the laws of success. This is how it works. And every time we veer off of that path, there's pain and suffering. There's destruction to relationships. There's regret and toil and sin and all kinds of problems. Every time you, you veer off the path, the big danger signs are there and big guardrails are put up. But so many people are so much smarter than the laws of success. So they look for shortcuts or they, they market to the profane and the obscene or what they take the easy way out and it destroys them internally.